Hey guys, welcome back to the channel DMO Fishing and this is 5 Hacks for Catfishing from the Bank. Let's get started. Alright guys, tip number one, get yourself a bucket. Okay, a fishing bucket. You can get a fishing bucket from Bass Pro Shop, from Cavela's, you can get it from Home Depot if you want to. But they sell some at Bass Pro that are really cheap, less than five bucks, and it's gonna be really useful for you. So you can use the bucket for carrying your bait, carrying your tackle, keeping your fish, use it as a live well. There's so many uses for a fishing bucket, and you, oh, that's all you need. You can just carry your bucket, put everything in it, and you'll be ready to fish from the bank. And once you start fishing, guys, you can even use that bucket to sit on it. And it's, it's actually a really comfortable seat. Some people actually put cushions on the bottom to sit on it. And that's so versatile a bucket is. So if you're gonna be fishing from bank, if you're gonna be walking to your spot, even if you're not walking, get yourself a bucket and you will thank me for that. That's tip number one. All right guys, hack number two. Don't buy any more bait and don't buy any more live bait. Okay guys, I have a video for you that I made a couple of days back uh, about how to catch your own free live bait and how to catch your own free cut bait. So you can catch bluegill for cut bait and you can catch green sun fish for live bait for those big flatheads and big blues. Uh, as far as dough baits go, I also have a video how to make your own dough bait at home and it works really good check it out I'm gonna leave all the links in the description for you to check those out uh, sting baits work but I also have a recipe for sting baits that you can check out that there's a different video uh, that you can check it out and learn how to make your own sting bait so don't buy any more bait make your own and catch your own alright guys hack number three this is more like things that you should get to be more successful when you get to the bank and catch more fish. So I wanna start with these little raw holders. I got those from Walmart. Um, they were really cheap. They're really small, they're really portable. You can throw them in your book bag, you can put them in your bucket, and you can use them everywhere. They're really useful if you're fishing the bottom and you're gonna leave your rod sit there. You're gonna let it sit there. You just, get that with that said guys if you guys fishing from the bottom for catfish as you guys know you're gonna need some of these these bells help you to detect bites you put this little cheap bell at the tip of your rod and you can, can know when the fish is biting at least you'll know something's happening with your rod so get a bunch of these i got this uh amazon really cheap uh i got a few of them and i put them on the tip of my rods and i know when i get a bite last but not least this right here guys this is the magic thread okay magic thread helps you when you're fishing with chicken liver when you're fishing with soft baits your dough bait you want to use this magic thread um, i have a video how to keep uh, your chicken liver on the hook and i go into detail explaining how to use the magic thread check out that video i'm gonna leave a link in the description check it out um, but yeah get yourself some magic thread and it will save you a lot of time it will save you a lot of bait and it will be really useful when you're fishing for those catfish. All right guys, hack number four, make your own deep finder with whatever you have in your tackle box. All right guys, for this hack, this is all you need. You need a big sliding weight. You need a empty bottle of water. So I squished it a little bit because I wanna, I don't want the bottle to drag the weight, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cast it really far. We're gonna let the lead sit on the bottom and then we're gonna feed some line onto the water onto the bottle shows up on the surface of the water but while we're doing that we're gonna be measuring how much line it takes from the bottom to the top and that's gonna give us the depth of that spot so let's do that all right guys so all we gotta do is we're gonna cast we're gonna cast a little rig here to the spot that we need to figure out the depth so right there we cast it, okay? You guys can see the bottom water is on the surface right now. So I'm gonna retrieve my line and bring that bottom water to the lead all the way to the bottom, okay? And after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be measuring 
how much line it takes it's two feet three feet see so it took four feet to get the bottle to come to the surface again so we know that's the depth of that spot right there so you can do that on every single spot i'm gonna bring this in we're gonna cast it on a different spot okay we will cast it on this side right here so i'm gonna cast it on this spot right here let's see how deep it is right there all right so all right so now the, the water bottle is all the way in, all the way down next to the lead so we're gonna do one foot two feet three four five so it's five feet deep over there because i saw the bottle come up to the surface so i know it's not super deep right there it's only five feet deep and that's how you use this technique guys really simple really easy all you need is a big lead and a, and a bottle empty water bottle all right guys hack number five the three-way swivel okay this is a three-way swivel rig really easy really simple this will allow you to fish with no tangles guys as you guys can see i got my main line going towards it and i got my lead on one of them and i got my circle hook on the other one as you guys can see the leader for the circle hook is longer than the lead the leader for the weight okay so this will allow you to fish tangle free this will allow you to cast really far too and catch more fish um, and this is one of the easiest way to target the catfish on the bottom guys so if you want to learn how to tie this and go into detail how to tie the three-way swivel technique i have a video for you guys on how to tie this uh, check it out i'm gonna leave the link in the description for you guys to check it out you can learn how to tie this and be able to fish tango free catch more fish all right guys that's the five hacks that i think is going to help you catch more fish if you're fishing for catfish on the bank uh, if you like this video, if you learn anything in this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, uh, and share, guys. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of the other videos I have on my library. Uh, there's some catfishing videos, bait videos, and review videos. So check them out. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one.